Plaintiff Kiana Orr says the defendant is her sister, and she is completely addicted to sex. Kiana claims her sister continually asked about Kiana's lesbian lifestyle, and now the defendant wants to have a threesome with another woman. Kiana is suing her sister for a traffic ticket. Defendant Latrice Orr says Kiana tries to act like a goody two-shoes, but she is aggressive and loves to fight. Latrice refuses to pay for the traffic ticket because Kiana's daughter damaged her car. She's countersuing for the damages. Start with you. So let me give you a little background on my sister Latrice. Um, I love my sister dearly. She is loud, obnoxious, and she always has to have the center of attention. Um, my sister is addicted to sex, and she has no shame in her sexual life. Could be worse life. things, right? She has no shame. I once woke up in the back seat of her car, and she was giving oral sex to her boyfriend through the window at the gas station. She has, she has really scarred my life, let me say. Write that down. What do you say now? You... <laughs> the window at the gas station. OK, so she always oh, talks it about. It was her boyfriend. Exactly, yes. It was her mate. Yes, it not was. Not a stranger, not some fly by night. All right. And she was okay. asleep. <laughs> so ahead. she always talks about me and my girlfriend. But, I mean, more than ever now, Talk she... Talk about you in what way? Um, just about our sexual life and, you know, what lesbians do. How she know about do. you all? You tell her what you do like yeah, she tells you? Yeah, that's my sister. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, but, then... you know, now more than ever, she talks about having a threesome, so I don't know how she can judge With me. With who? With another woman, not me, though. Oh, Her, her boyfriend, that she and took that's what they do. took way too far. <laughs> So me and my sister always hang out. We kick it together a lot. And every time we go out, she thinks she is the finest thing that then walked in the room. So as a result, we always get in verbal or physical altercations. My How? Sister, um, How does that lead to you all getting in physical altercation because she thinks she's the finest thing Because in the room? she thinks every man that looks at her wants her. So if they got a girlfriend with them and they look at her, they want her. I'm fine. She mad because her man want me. Oh. Okay. So there we go. She keep going on and on. And then I'm left. She keep running her mouth and then I'm left to have to defend her. Gotcha. So um, my sister, she believes that I should help her more than she than I do because she has six kids and I only have one. But I'm now that's where the sex addiction hurts <laughs> as well. <laughs> No, no. You can't that. afford all the children that sex produces. All right, so go ahead. So I'm a college student in the transition of Ugh. moving back to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I don't have time to worry about her problems and my problems. Um, so we're both grown, mm. and it's time for Latrice to take responsibility for Latrice's right. actions. And I'm starting yeah. with this ticket today. All right, give me your background on your situation. Okay, let's start off. You know, I love you too. I like love the show and everything. Thank you. Good job. And I love that you're with the youth and everything because let me start with Kiana and a little bit of background on Kiana. Why she's trying to like portray this goody two shoes right now. Let's get on Kiana. Kiana's very aggressive. Kiana loves to fight, you know, she, it, she doesn't, like I'm the more of the one that can talk things out and I'm comedic, you know, and she is more like just going and fight. She doesn't talk about anything, she's ready to fight. When she was younger, like fifth grade, she hit somebody in the head with a lock. And when we got older, like maybe teenagers, she tried to hit me in the head with the statue. With the same lock. Oh, you know, okay. The statue. The statue. The statue. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I was better so, get that you know, lock out and, of hands. And you know what she says about me? And I, I, of course, I have six kids. You know, people make mistakes. You know, but it's not like I'm out there like that. You know, it's it. You know. Did you plan on having six children? When I was younger, I always wanted six kids. No, no, no. Kids. When you were engaged in your intimacy. <laughs> Were you planning no. on each child? No, but and I was with that person. No, I didn't plan. You no. didn't have an idea of how to avoid <laughs> unplanned pregnancy. Um, no. All right. So, so six times you should know by now that unless you have, don't have a set of twins. Planned, oh, I have a, a set, set of, of twins. twins. Yeah, okay. I have a set of twins. Oh, yeah. Right. And so like with Kiana, and she's just so you know uh, aggressive and. I just, sometimes I'd be like, Kiana, just calm down. And by me being the person I am, like over the summer, this summer, with my six kids, because I like to keep my kids involved in anything and yeah. everything. I don't like my kids out in the street, not yeah. at all. So I um, volunteered, to, I actually volunteered to work at a performing arts camp and they actually hired me. So yeah. I was working with inner kids, you know, Excellent. helping them out, you know, with stuff like that, so. How old are yeah. your children? Ages what to what? I know 11 you can't to... name all six of them. I'm not gonna <laughs> put that to you. 11 to three. 
11 to 3. Uh -huh. Okay. I get in trouble with this every six months. <laughs> How old are your children? 22. And Mir says, nah, I ain't no 22, I'm 23. <laughs> 23, 25, 26, and 28. I'm about right. Amen. <laughs> I am right. I know about. I'm right. You're right. <laughs> you do it. All right, so my... No, no, you do it. Well, I just did. I am about to. Name them. Name the number. 11, mm -hmm. 9, 8, 6, and two three-year-olds. All right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the tickets she's suing you for, ma'am. Okay, um... In May, I sold my sister a car, and I gave her the bill of sale. She was supposed to switch it over into her name. The car never got switched over in her name, and no. as a result, she got a ticket on the vehicle. Oh, so that's the not... ticket... No. No, no well, no. Uh, let her no. finish, ma'am. Okay. The question is, who got the ticket? All right. Go ahead. The ticket went from $50 to $100, and now it's at $200 because she has yet failed to pay. When you ask her to pay it, what has she said? Um, I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it. Okay. Ma'am? <laughs> well, that's not right. She gave me, she sold me the car. I gave her the money for the car, and she waited and gave me the title later. So within her not giving me the title, within that time, I got the ticket. Yeah, I don't think I should pay it because... Okay, her daughter got into my car, and um, the, it was my daughter and her daughter, they were playing, but her daughter got into my driver's seat, pulled my um, gear switch into gear, and my door ran into it, my uh, car ran into a tree. Who was there at the house? We were. Both? Yes. Yes. Who was watching the children? We were. We were. We were. Both of you were watching both of your children? Yes. <laughs> and you want to hold her responsible for all of it? No, no, it's, the, it's not that. It's that her daughter was the one. My daughter got out and came and told us. Yeah, her but daughter you all both had a responsibility to be watching your children. Right. And both your children were um, engaging in behavior that they probably would not have had they been properly supervised. Right. And that's your counterclaim, 1593. Exactly. Divide that by two, please. And I'm going to assess uh, half to her. Uh, and seven ninety six fifty. Seven ninety six fifty, and you owe her two hundred dollars for the ticket. Your only defense is that she owes you for the car repair. Yeah. I'm going to conclude that she only owes you half for the car repair. So seven ninety six might. I don't need a calculator for this. <laughs> <laughs> you might, but I don't. Seven ninety six fifty minus two hundred is six hundred and ninety six. No. Mm -mm, 500. I do need the cat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I Y'all know I'm not that unaccustomed to math. <laughs> 596 50 is your judgment. Have a good day, ladies. Um, I'm still gonna love her. I love my nieces and nephews, and I just need this ticket paid because I don't need this on my record and she got the ticket. I'm gonna always love my sister. You know, that's my sister. I'm the oldest, so have to set example for my little sister. So I'm gonna always love my sister. Whatever, even whatever we go through, siblings go through everything. It's nothing they don't go through. 